Hi, I want to stay with this uh, thread of what I'm going to call conscious living, becoming more conscious of the, the patterns that you do, the patterns that are inefficient. Uh, my example, my most blatant example, was when my kids would spill milk, I would become what I call the milk monster. I would scream and yell, and uh, that was going on one day when I had to take a breath to continue being the milk monster, and there was a little voice of reason said, uh, it's a glass of milk. And it was so clear and it was so precise and it was right at the right time when I was taking a breath. It was my wife, of course, Nicole, saying, what's going on? It's a glass of milk. Because she wasn't raised like I was. Right? When I saw that, I thought, wow, that's really inefficient. It is a glass of milk. Let me help the kids clean it up and quit it. Even the glass wasn't broken. That was the stupid part. So there are four stages to becoming more conscious in your life. One is the first stage is you're unconscious. You're doing a pattern you've, because you've learned something. The second stage is... Somebody or something lets you know that that's a little less than efficient. And that was, it's a glass of milk. Uh, the third stage is when you are in a similar situation and you find yourself being different. Um, my mom came to visit. My son took a juice box and squeezed it across a white cotton chair. And mom came out and said, ooh, ooh, Ian just squeezed the juice box across the white cotton chair. And I said, excuse me, mom. And now, Mom was expecting the milk monster, right? But this chair, i it was a real neat chair. It was a designer thing that my wife bought, and, and I played with it just because it was so cool, and I knew how to take it off and get this cover off. So I got the cover off. We got the stain stuff on it and got it thrown in a wash, and I went back outside, and my mom said, you've handled that a little differently than I would have. <laughs> so I said, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Here are the stages, and I, I talked to Mom about it. But if you're lucky, you'll get people to interrupt your patterns, interrupt the unconscious things that you do. Uh, we were doing a month long in California, and one of my participants called early in the morning. I don't know how early it was, but the phone was by my bed. It rang, and I picked it up, which I don't normally do, and uh, there was a screaming. Right? I'm pissed off, and it's your fault. and So I hung up. You know, which I do fairly frequently because if people are saying things I don't want to hear, I think it's a real simple thing to do. It seems to elude some people. But at any rate, I hung up. Uh, I went downstairs in the office. Nicole said, Greg is on the phone, who has been on the phone, whose voice it sounded like on the phone, uh, for you. And I said, well, Greg may be on the phone, but it's not for me. I'm not talking to him until we start work at 1 o'clock. And right around 1 o'clock, he showed up, and he walked right up to me, got right in my, into my personal space, uh, and looked down at me, which most people do, in case you don't know me. And I looked up at him, and I said, oh, here we go. And he said, thank you. And I said, <laughs> for what? He said, he said, I had to look at everything in my life. He said, nobody's ever hung up on me. Nobody. And he said, and when you did, it startled me so. He said, I looked, and he said, I do that once or twice a week. I pick somebody. And I, and I call them and I rage at them until I get them so engaged that they're pissed off for weeks. First stage, second stage. Right? I don't know whether he's looking, living the third or fourth stage or not. Fourth stage is when it's you. It's what, how you respond, how you react. It's, it's just part of you. It's your unconscious you. Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com